Yeah. So, so yeah, this video is going to be super mega ultra easy. Um, we are going to put in the ocean plane. So easy. It's going to be cake. Ready? So let's make a layer for it. We'll do a new layer and I'll call this one ocean or water or something else. A salt flat, whatever you're modeling in. Um, so, uh, and I'm just going to make this blue so it's like readily apparent what this thing is or turquoise. So with this one, um, all I'm going to do is just create a giant planar surface um, and it you can sort of move it wherever you want and I just deleted the original one because I don't really want that and I'm just going to slide this one out. Um, and I'm going to do a four point planar surface and I'm just going to do this one right over here, right? So surface from three or four corner points. So I click that and I can just go sort of like way out here on either side. Oh, sorry, I'm on the wrong layer. I created the layer, but I didn't activate it. So you can double click it to activate that layer. And then four point surface, I'm just going to start here, go down to like there and there and there. Okay, so this is what it created, right? It's a plane that kind of cuts at the same level that it was inserted at, um, but that's not really where my ocean is. So I grab this thing and using the gumball, I can just slide it down to a point where it's slightly below my plane and then pull it up to a point where I can be convinced that the ocean actually is. Right, so maybe something like that, right? So you notice that there was some water inlet here, so I can just go there and maybe I'll make it like a minus one more foot. There you go. All right, so, um, so generally speaking, actually maybe it doesn't want to go a little higher. Probably wants to be more up like this probably closer to reality. Um, so generally speaking, that's ultimately the large part of what I have to do in order to get just some basic, um, I, I'll call it museum resolution landscape. Okay, we're doing museum models. It's going to be all sort of like whites and translucencies and, you know, stuff like that. But um, the, the model, my building, is really only this big compared to all that. So zoom select, I'm looking up at that thing. It looks rather small when I have it at this perspective, but let me, um, and I'm going to make a group out of this guys, and you should probably do the same if you're gonna move everything. Group the whole thing. So that way now I can just select the entire family of bits and pieces and then move and just grab one of your base points. doesn't need to be too specific, but just grab one and then start bringing it over. Hit ZS if you have to zoom in close. Um, this thing is kind of locked to a certain plane. If you want it to attach to the surface, I think you can use near. I'm not sure if that works for surfaces. Let's try it. Boom. No, it won't let me use near. Hang on. Maybe not. All right, so we're going to have to use this then. Just use the gumball till you get it to a point where it's sort of sitting on the landscape. Now you can kind of get a sense of how big your model is in comparison to the actual landscape itself. So based off of where your cam camera views were, zooming in on this thing, let me um, turn my camera on. <coughs> now you can see your view. And if you need to scroll around a particular element, you can select it. I'm going to have to explode my group now. Um, oh, 
Oh, wait, hang on. I didn't want to explode it. I wanted to ungroup. There we go. Yes. So now I'm kind of floating around this particular element, and it's going to allow me to kind of set, you know, set the landscape as part of my background. Okay, so we have this stuff at our disposal now. Um, and this is going to be part of our exercise. So make sure that you get, you know, some kind of secondary plane. I suggest a water feature for now. It has stark contrast from a hillside into the water. Um, and then we'll start to, you know, move into like urban landscapes and cityscapes that kind of blend planarity and stuff like that going forward. But this is a good place to start. What questions do you have? Okay, so what I'd like you to do here before we take, or while we take a little break, uh, get caught up, and then we're going to move into a few other, um, you know, uh, entourage type exercises. Um, get to this level where you take your model, you've placed it on the site, and you've thought about how to adapt your views to the new location while thinking about I'm in an enclosed space, some of these panels might become translucent or transparent which ones might they be, and where might my camera go. So we'll probably spend a good 20 minutes, 30 minutes trying to lock in some of that, and then we'll continue on.